the bigger homes are are not being listed as much, and then the smaller, more smaller homes are. So I'm kind of wondering where you have <clears throat> real estate investors who have the small homes, right. right? And now they're seeing that they have an opportunity to sell because they've got a lot of equity in them. Sure. Mm -hmm. And so now they're they're letting those go. And, and if they're smart, they're letting those homes go that uh, were the trouble homes. Yeah, <laughs> if they're smart. Speaking of trouble homes, I just saw on Facebook this morning, there's a house called the one that's a ten a hundred thousand square foot house and uh just outside of beverly hills i guess on an eight acre cliff wow that's being foreclosed on for 165 million wow it's the guys was supposed to have it finished by 2017 so the builder still did not have it completed wow um and uh it's it's now going to be on the market they're thinking like 288 million a little chunk change here or there but um, it's just an example of, um, you know, those high dollar houses, you know, there, you need to be careful in that price yep. range, not, not, you know, 65 million or 165 or even $500 million houses. You need to even over 500,000, really depending on where you are. I mean, you where you are, be careful to dictates that. I wanted to ask you a question on your portfolio that you have. How many of the houses that you have are under 1400 square feet? That's a great question. So let me think of that in my head. Um, See, for no me, it's a, hurry. Yeah, for me thinking, it's a really easy answer. I'm, I'm thinking I don't have any. Uh, under 1,400? I don't have any any over 1,400. I was going to say, I only have one over 1,400. Yeah, the feet. one that I did, I sold. Yeah, and the one that I have, I'm, well, I'm, I don't know, I'll sell it or not. Yeah, I, I, I do have one more. I forgot about that one. Yeah. And that's actually on the market. I just put that on the market yesterday. Yeah. So... Uh, yeah, and that's out of what nineteen that I have right now that mm. I'm involved in in one way or the other. So, yeah. Another thing that this article pointed out is that uh, expectations for people buying starter homes have been raised so much thanks to HGTV. Yeah. That everybody needs to have this big open concept with all granite you know, countertops, giant new homes, cabinets, and, funky uh, lights. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna live in a fourteen hundred or less square foot home yeah. I mean, it, to get started with. To me, it's, it's so it's, they, that's why they stopped building. A lot of that. Yeah. Well, it's interesting too. Like it's like 1400 square feet with all the high end finishes or a double wide. And it's like, can't there be some middle ground yeah, between those that's two? That's exactly right. <laughs> that's exactly right. Like that's like, to me, that that is a, that's a. But the smaller houses, you know, when you're under 1400 square feet, the repair costs, the rehab costs on them are less mm -hmm. and, you know, countertops are shorter. So you're not spending as much money there. So you can put a little bit more into it, do, do the luxury vinyl tile throughout um, rather than carpet. I mean, it just gives it a, a, a much better look. So those tiny houses, you can really trick them out to make them look good. And when you do that, you get more money for them. Oh, yeah. And they sell quicker. Well, I know um, Michelle and I's first home. <clears throat> that would be his wife. 1,300 square feet. And 13. You know, it had a vaulted ceiling and open yeah, concept. It was very open. Double fireplace between the dining room, kitchen, and the and the living room. So it it had plenty of square footage for mm -hmm, us. Mm -hmm. It was just the two of us. Yeah, I mean, and our first home, anymore. our first home was eighteen hundred square feet, which you know we had a a, um, a child at the time. But yeah, you know, I remember we had to come in five thousand dollars over asking price. We got it, and then we sold it eight months later for 20,000 more than we paid for it. That's that, awesome. That, that was in the, the Nash, Nashville metro area. That was in right? Nashville, yeah. I mean, you were in Kentucky, I think, right? No, no, I was in Nashville. Oh, okay. Or, well, just outside Nashville. Yeah. 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 That's uh, awesome. But, that, but yeah. that's a pretty hot market. Yeah. Wait, what, that was 20, that was the end of 2017. I think if right. we had it now. It just sold again. So uh, it sold again a couple months ago for 40,000 more than we sold it for. Wow, that's awesome.